All right, so let's take a look at a question number two here where we're asked to figure out what are uh, some of the equations are um, if we apply certain um, translations or um, uh, offsets to the existing uh, equation and then what would the, um, the resulting new function be. So our um, new equation um, is based off of the basic parabola, so it's y equals um, x squared. Okay, and we're going to apply some following translations. So the first thing to, th to do here is to understand that we are going to be using the general form of the parabola equation in which to apply these translations. So right underneath this, I'm just going to write down the, the general form again, which is a times x minus h squared plus k. Okay, so that's the formula that's been given to you um, in this unit um, where they talk about how the parabola um, how the structure and, and properties of the parabola can be fully written out. Okay, so if, X, if H and K are 0 and A is 1, then it just reduces down to the base case. So our first question here says a horizontal translation of 4 units to the left. So we're going 4 units to the left. So we, we have to remember what our X and Y graph looks like. So here's X, here's Y. So if we're going to the left, we're going to the negative side. Um, of the uh, of, of the axis okay where it's positive here and it's negative here positive to the top negative to the bottom and a vertical translation of two units up so that's two units positive and it's congruent meaning it's going to be the same shape as um, equal to y equals negative 4x okay so what we're really asked to find here is what are the values for h and k Okay, so we could just simply rewrite this equation as follows here. y is equal to negative 4x, um, but we're going to put in the minus sign here, and I'm just going to leave it blank for a second, um, and then we're going to square it, and then we're going to add a plus sign, and then we're going to put in what our other values are here. So let me just do this in a different color so it shows up. So if we're going to go four units to the left, that means the, we're going to the negative side of the x-axis so that means we are going to actually have to um, put in a negative 4 as our value here okay and two units up so two units up is we're going to the the positive direction in the y-axis so we're just going to put in a number two here so we could simplify this equation a little bit because what we have is here we have two negatives here side by side okay which will turn that into a plus 4 rather than minus minus 4 all right, so we could then rewrite our question here. I'll take it back to red as follows. Y is equal to negative 4x plus 4 squared plus 2. Okay, and that would be the translated equation according to those properties. So if we look at the next one here, it says a horizontal translation of 3 units to the right. So 3 units to the right means we're going in the positive x direction and a vertical translation of 1 unit down. That means we're going into the minus direction. Okay, so again, um, and we're, our base equation is 2 thirds x squared. So let's just write our equation out. Okay, 2 thirds, and then we're going to go x minus, okay, and I'm going to leave a blank there, squared plus, and then we'll leave a blank there. And I'll just go back to a new color. So if we are going to go three units to the right, that means we're going into the positive x direction. So that means the value for h is just going to be 3. Okay, or plus 3, but we don't have to write the plus um, there. It's just, it's assumed to be there. So this is just going to be, end up becoming x minus 3. And then one unit down. So one unit down is negative in the y direction. So that's what the value of k has to be. So it's going to be one unit down. So it's going to be negative 1. Okay, so then like we did before, it's a good idea that we should just simplify the signs in this equation. So we can write this as y is equal to 2 thirds x minus 3 squared. Okay, and then plus negative 1 can just be simply written as minus 1. All right, so that's um, what the final form of that equation is. Okay, the, the key thing to note here is that the base of the equation is plus k. Okay, but the, the value of k in this case is minus 1. So that minus 1 kind of gets disguised a little bit because it's the same as plus negative 1. All right, and then let's look at question C. The parabola is opened up, okay, and vertically expanded by a factor of 3. 
Okay, so remember, vertically expanded is the opposite of being compressed. That means the A value is greater than one. Okay, that will give us a vertical, uh, like a, a, a vertically expanded or vertically stretched parabola. So we could just simply write this as um, plus three X squared. Okay, where the three is determines that we're vertically expanding or stretching it vertically along the y-axis and it opens up. Um, now the reason it opens up is because it's a positive value. So normally we wouldn't, we normally don't write the positive three in, we would just write it as simply three x squared. Okay, if we open down, we would have to include the minus sign, which is what the next question is. It opens down and it's vertically compressed by a factor of four. So vertically compressed means that it's going to be squashed towards the x-axis, okay, and by a factor of one quarter. So we can just simply write it as y is equal to minus one quarter, okay, because that's going to open down and x squared. Okay, so that's how you translate those words into um, the values that you need to put into the general format for the parabola.